Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on Twitter, GoPro X CHK. So Twitter is forming inside bars in a very tight range on the daily time frame. We had a double low last two days at 1675, lower highs on the daily 1705, 1693. So very tight. We're going to see a break tomorrow of this tight range. If we see a break of 1675, we look to 1657, and that's a bear signal. And if we see a break of 1693, we look to 1705 and 1716 for an attempt at the bulls to try and recover from the weakness we are now seeing on the daily, daily time frame. The bulls did hold that 1644 level, so we do still have a higher low. But the weekly is following through from the bear break of the inside bar, the rejection from the 100-week moving average, the loss of all moving average supports if we close here or lower. And after 16.44, we're looking down at 15.67. So the bears are still in control on the daily time frame on Twitter. And really this day right here on the high bear volume, losing, breaking this little inside bar bearish, losing this middle Bollinger Band, that's when everything shifted because before that point, it was normal healthy consolidation. GoPro on the daily also forming an inside bar. Support is 1129 and resistance is 1180. And we have a nice higher low, higher high, so we can consolidate. And anything above 1054 is a higher low with the middle Bollinger Band above that level right now, acting as support on the way up as well. The weekly time frame for GoPro has to close over this 100 week to get over this resistance that rejected the price last week. That's 1158 at this point. The upper Bollinger Band is 1136, so the bulls are looking good to potentially close over that level. But the inside bar is going to dictate how this weekly candlestick looks. If we get a bear break, we're going to see a big upper wick rejection. If we see a bull break, we're going to close over it. So tomorrow's a pretty important day for the shape on that weekly chart. X saw a nice top fishing play early this morning for a day trade where we were unable to break the high of yesterday by about four cents and then pulled back. And it was a nice pullback with a bearish play. I call that a top fishing play. But we ended up with an inside bar and a strong close. 25.48 as a bull break. 2480 is a bear break we're still anticipating a lower high compared to 2647 and then we'll have to form a higher low and a higher high unless we see increasing bull volume that would lead to us lead to the break of 2647 it would have to be a pretty high volume day or a couple solid volume days in a row so the weekly time frame for x is following off of the 200 week moving average support holding last week and it's a pretty solid follow through candlestick and it's keeping the higher low pattern intact. So the bulls need to follow through next week and confirm this reversal candlestick, trying to head back towards the recent highs in the $27, $28 range. CHK, big bearish reversal candlestick today, along with oil, following along with the correlation to oil, and taking out the lows of the past three days in the process, and also filling a little gap down here. It was a gap at 425, and we filled it down to 425 on the dot. So healthy consolidation underway, Anything really we can consolidate for a while and form a higher low, ideally holding the 50-day moving average at the worst, that's at 418 and dropping, and the weekly time frame is forming a bearish reversal candlestick with an upper wick. Again, we weren't going to change the trend from this low, we're just looking to set another lower high, consolidate, form a higher low, and then a higher high to see this bull MACD cross follow through. Middle Bollinger Band has been resistant for months and months, that will continue to be a key level, and that's going to drop down around 4050 or 450 into next week. So that's what we've got. We'll see you over the weekend. Thanks for watching.